today, look. Mm. Um, we're going to make banana cake today, or banana loaf, it's banana cake. Um, we've got everything weighed out into cups for you guys, if you want to have a look. Half a cup of butter. A cup of self-raisin flour. Three quarters of a cup of caster sugar. One free range egg. Vanilla. And we need two very ripe bananas. And 50 ml of milk. Right, we're going to put the butter into a saucepan. We're going to melt it over the heat along with the sugar. This is real butter, but you can use other things. But I like real butter in cakes, it makes all the difference. That's our half a cup of butter. That's our three quarters of a cup of sugar. Some vanilla ex ess essence in there. About a teaspoon. I'm going to put it on the heat. Oh God, we put it on the heat. <laughs> to, m to melt. Okay, in the meantime, while that's melting on the stove, we've got some really ripe bananas. And that is the best for this recipe. So don't throw your bananas out when they get really ripe. So we just want two. So we pick the fairly best ones out. We won't use that bruised bit. So now we've got to find another half banana. Pretty easy, isn't it? Kids could do it. That's our two bananas there. I'm going to mash them up. We're just going to stir this because I can hear it. I don't want it burning like it is. I leave it to melt there because it's copper bottom this pot so the heat will stay in it. Alright, so we're going to mash the bananas up. You just use a fork, you don't have to use anything else. Leave a few little lumps in there. Beat an egg quickly. There we are. Into the melted butter and sugar, we're going to add our mashed banana. Oh, another goat shooting past. Can I add our egg? Keep mixing, mixing. And add our 50. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Fifty ml of milk. Take a fork. And we're gonna add in our flour. A little bit at a time. I say it's not a difficult recipe. Self raising flour going in. A little bit at a time, you don't want it to. Get all lumpy and that in there. Me and Josh are rocking all over the place today. It's busy, isn't it? That's all our ingredients in. Just make sure it's all combined. All stirred in well.
Now we've got over here a greased loaf tin. You can use a cake tin. And I've put a little tiny bit of um, grease proof paper in the bottom. Just makes it easier to get the loaf out or the cake out. You tip this in. And we need to cook this till it's firm like you do with a cake. And I just use a knife. If it looks nice and golden brown, put the knife in it, the knife test. If the knife comes out dry, then you know it's um, it's cooked. So we've got this oven on about 170. Just going to check. Yeah, I turned it down to 170. I'm going to put the cake in on the on the middle shelf, like that. There we are. And we'll come back and check it. In about 30, 40 minutes I reckon it should take on 170. And what we'll do is we'll put the knife in and see how dry it is. If it's dry, then it's cooked. An easy recipe. Josh will go through it all with you. List everything we put in it. That's what you normally do, isn't it, Josh? You don't make recipe on it. How do people follow it? How am I supposed to, like... So you put in this exact amount well, that's you what we shove in. in. Well, anyway guys, we've done it all They've into... They've all seen it at the yeah. start! We've done it all into cups for you, so... Most of the stuff here is all on the You're just throwing oak everywhere now. Oak? I mean, yolk. <laughs> oh, you're joking, aren't you? Yeah. Right, I'll see you in a bit guys, time to wash up. Okay guys, we just got it out of the oven. We did the knife test. Put that in the middle, nothing comes out with it, so you know the cake's cooked. We're just going to let that cool off now, and then we'll once it's cooled off we'll take it out, let you see it. See you in a bit. Hi guys, we're back now. I've just been watching the rest of the film, The Rock, brilliant film, and i come out and there's a hole in the cake. I'm not sure how that's um, happened, is it? Do you know? Josh can't see a bit of frosting on it, so I've got some icing sugar here. I've just tipped some in a bowl. I don't measure it because a little bit of vanilla essence. And we're just going to add butter until we um, get the right consistency. That should be plenty of butter. It takes a little bit of fiddling about this. It takes a little while to get it going. quite enough butter in there so I just added another little bit of butter and then we got our frosting. You can even add a bit of cream cheese to this, it makes a really nice frosting. Mr Blue Sky. Oh I've seen him before haven't we? Yeah. Probably loads called that. I don't like that song, Mr Blue Sky. Don't tell him that, yeah. Lots of people like that song but I don't. Do you? It's alright. Yeah. Okay guys, we've got our frosting on top. And that's the uh, banana loaf or banana cake. Really easy. Put it all into cups so you can just follow it yourself, but it's come out really nice, really soft as you can see. Really tasty. Um, if you just follow us, if you want some more of these recipes and ideas of cooking on a narrow boat, um, join our Patreon. It starts at £2 and then you get exclusive cooking videos every week. You can watch us every it's week. only £5 tier and above. Forget it. If you want more cooking videos, join our Patreon. It's only um, five pound a week. It helps out with the boat. Oh, we? <laughs> <laughs> no! It's a month, you numb nut. It's a car. I wish I could feel your teeth. Yeah.
Yeah, if you uh, would like some more of these cooking videos, join our. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's your teeth. If you'd like some more of these um, cooking videos, join our Patreon channel. Um, it's uh, £5 a month and you get loads of access and you get loads of recipes and nature walks and it helps keep the boat going as well and you become one of the crew members. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time for one of our recipes.